I actually know this guy. Uh, put your hands together for Shane Smith, everyone. <laughs> Uh, I'm here visiting from Salt Lake City. In Salt Lake, I live across the street from a 7-Eleven. I'm in there all the time. I like to drink Mountain Dew. It's basically my only vice. I'm in that 7-Eleven so often that the guys who work there, they have a nickname for me. They call me Mountain Dew Guy. Do you guys know how much Mountain Dew you have to drink not to have the nickname Throat Tattoo Guy? <laughs> yes, it is a lot. For them to be like, you know what? The most interesting thing about this guy is not that he ruined his life by tattooing his throat and face. <laughs> Drinks a lot of soda, so. Still 30 seconds. All right. There you go. Let's Short just and talk sweet. to you. Short and sweet. Let's just talk to you. Now you're a guest on a podcast. I know, Shane, uh, we did some shows together in Salt Lake City at the Wise Guys, where I'm also going to be June 2nd and 3rd, uh, by the way. A little sliding it in there. <laughs> before I fly directly to San Francisco to host this year's High Times Cannabis Cup. Anyway, back to you, Shane Smith. Okay. That's fucking hilarious. There okay. you go. It was just a minute right then, by the way. <laughs> you did 30 seconds, but that was great. Let's talk about it. Yeah. You seem like uh, you've been through a lot of shit in your life. A you're little li bit. You're like, you're like uh, if, you know, Superman turned back to Clark Kent and then sh got fired at the newspaper job and then all of a sudden found heroin and then, <laughs> you know, got it all back together after that but couldn't turn back into Superman. Sure, yeah. That makes about sense. I mean... He was never able to get the needle in his arm, but he could snort it. So. Yeah, yeah. No drugs, but, <laughs> you know, I've been through... Really? It. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I feel like, and maybe this is just obviously stereotyping, but the full neck tattoo, I feel like that's always like a recovery thing. Oh, that's hugely molested. Yeah. Like, really, like, a bunch of dicks. The, this is... Is that true? Wait, what? Is that a thing? <laughs> the you, molestation were, thing? Were, were you molested or anything as a kid? Sure, yeah, a little bit. Really? really? I had a nightmare childhood. Just like a pinky. Do you have a, do you have a yeah, problem talking a about it? <laughs> no, I don't have a it problem. It was a nightmare for you, it. but it was a dream for your uncle. Oh shit. Well then let's talk about it a little bit. What do you what do you mean you had a fucked up childhood? Let's get into it. Man, oh you are God. the opposite interview of Will Leach, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Will Leach, go get a fucking neck yeah. tattoo, you goddamn Canadian. Oh man. I'm going to change his name to Won't um, Leech. I, uh, yeah, I grew up, uh, my, uh, my mom struggled with, uh, with substances, and like, uh, she married a bunch of guys, some of which were like the sergeant in arms of biker gangs. Um, and so I grew up around professional criminals. <laughs> and uh, my stepdad actually recently got arrested for murdering someone. And uh, thank you, whoever clapped. That's good. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Yeah, Where does it start getting weird, man? <laughs> And so, um, you know, my mom was just like one of those ladies who was like crazy. She, uh, she'd be like, don't let anyone disrespect you. you. You go to fucking prison before someone disrespects you. And uh, I'm like, okay, I'm yeah. going to second grade now. Your mom's Puerto Rican? <laughs> cool. Dude, that's a yeah. fucking bit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. She was, she, it is. In all honesty, uh, 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 one story is an example. By, uh, we got caught. Uh, someone was bullying me and my brothers. I had three brothers growing up. And my mom found out he was bullying us. So she took us to his house, and she was like, you guys are going to fight him. And so she made us go to the door and, like, invite him out to play. Mm. And then the idea was that we were going to jump him all together in front of his parents. Yeah. Your mother Suge Knight? No, my mom. Yeah, no. My, we literally, <laughs> like, invite him out, and he's like, hey, uh, he's like, what's going oh, on, guys? And my mom's in the car like, run this shit. Like, do yeah. it. His wow. mom's not Chick Knight, but his yeah. dad is on death row. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Joel Berg. Yeah. My God. For those that of you keeping track good. on your Kill Tony bingo cards, that's Joel Jimenez, a.k.a. Oh, Joel Berg, reclaiming the streak. Yeah. Shane, you are fascinating. Yeah. You yeah. should be a comic. You, you, that's like an hour it was right there. Dude, I, I am a comic. You are, you are a good comic, by yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. That was you. great. That was really funny. I yeah, love it. Yeah, I applied for Skank Fest. No answer. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, you're fucking in. It's, it doesn't matter. Uh, I swear to God, you're in. Really? No way. Yes, you're fucking in. That wow, he's in Skank Fest now yes. all of a sudden. He's in. Yes. Just became part of a festival. No. Yeah. You're gonna, all you're you're gonna have to, to do share a room with Red Band, but it's yeah, cool. it's, it's all I sorry. had to do was fly to LA from Salt Lake, yeah. randomly get on the show and talk yeah. to you. Easy and jump and now you're just gonna randomly you're gonna fly yourself to New York, yeah, and yeah. Uh, then you're gonna. There we go. 
<laughs> no, no, dude, I, I would love to have you on it because that was incredible, and I think your story is great. My mom was the same fucking psycho who would bring me house to house to beat up my fucking bullies while she smoked cigarettes and really? watched me. Yeah. So There's I fucking. More I, than that. So you really? Yeah. I've never met someone. We else might with be crazy brothers. Mom. Dude, fuck oh. yeah. Yeah. Dude, my mom is up to some shit. It yeah. is possible. My, my mom, mom was also a whore, so let's see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine too. My mom also started a uh, uh, an entire. What's a riot at a little league baseball game that I was playing in? What? <laughs> yeah, it was an interesting thing. There was so it's the end of the baseball game, really tight game. This is fucking Youngstown, Ohio, and uh, I think I'm like uh, 12 or 13 at the time. And they the were using you as a bet. Yes, that was me. Was the game so tight you couldn't get in? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Continue. Okay, and uh, <laughs> my mom ended up. Uh, my mom, in an unheard of maneuver, this there was this uh, there was this um, African American woman who, when the Ooh. game ended and we won by like one point, goes, uh, "You guys are all a bunch of cheaters" or something like that. Like so there was some close call, and she was like being really aggressive. And my mom, in public at a baseball game, Called in an unheard of maneuver. Thank you, Tommy Chong. You have the comedic delivery of a hijacker of a show. Uh, oh, yes, you. she dropped yeah. she dropped the N word. Oh uh, no way! Oh, dude, that was in front of my entire baseball team, and in front of the, that was in front of that African American woman and her husband, who was waiting on the side. Thank God it wasn't a basketball game. Was a sheriff. <laughs> yes, and the lady that my mom called the N word was a judo instructor. My mom got her ass beat in front what? of all my friends. Yeah, it was God, your mom got your ass. Yeah, this was this was obviously like 20 years ago. Holy but shit, they had that's to Youngst scar you. That's Youngstown shit, though. Like, it, it's a different type of N-word out there. <laughs> where uh, what the Did she so hit Tony, throw her? Did she I'm, fuck go over the top? My, and my, my mom's a thug, too. She's 75 now, so that would have put her at like 55 then. Wow. Yeah. A black judo expert. Yeah, she. My mom didn't know she was a judo <laughs> instructor <laughs> until until she said the N word. That's, that's when she found oh. out. There wasn't like judo instructor on the ladies' T-shirt. That's legitimately why I don't say the that's N word anymore. Up. I don't know who's a judo instructor or not. It's true. That, that's, that's it's usually not N word. No, you got to be careful. She was a bludo instructor. All right. <laughs> Yeah. And both, it ended up being an entire brawl between both. That's how it started was my mom and this lady. Cut to her husband coming up to break it up and my head coach getting in. And then there's every sideline and every kid was fighting. We we're pooling our moms off of one another. It was ridiculous. Oh, race, man. Right. Shane, cool. you, you inspired me to. Good old-fashioned race war. I love it. Yeah. Talk about that for the first time. Yeah, yeah. W one interesting fact. I'm actually Sal, was your mom with was Isaac while I'm here in town. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, weird that you we're both up here. And you yeah. So can you fish I'm also your confused asshole? about his penis, by the way. You're gonna I'm going to find out. You're going to have everybody. to explain <laughs> to Isaac. Uh, you're going to have to tell Isaac <laughs> at some point that you're going to skank fest from your appearance <laughs> on tonight's show. Yeah, that's And then cool. you're going to be notice that a belt is missing out of your suitcase. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <to hang laughs> I also, after the show, I'm going to show you that you went through to like – one or two rounds through, like, people like, we, we really liked you. I'm going to show you emails proving that to you because you're very fucking funny, and now I remember you after you said that. Yeah. You're, you're fucking great, dude. So I'm not even just doing that as, like, a pity thing because I feel bad for your terrible childhood. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, uh, I legitimately think See, you're Kill funny, Tony right? makes dreams come true. Fuck and yeah, it, man. And uh, there you go. Sure, there you go. Shane Smith, everybody, going to motherfucking Skank Fest. One of the coolest comedy festivals in the entire world. He's in it. That's how showbiz works, Damn. motherfucker. I'm, ne I'm never going to answer his email. <laughs> Tony, how old were you during that, that, that brawl? I think I was 11 or 12. And did, did it change you? Or did you have PTSD from that? No, that yeah. was, I'm telling you, you, my hometown was fucking ridiculous. I have stories, never-ending crazy shit like that. Wow. You have to look up Youngstown. It's I, crazy. I used to go through it. PTSD yeah, through it. My mom. <laughs> my, mom, my mom mortified me in my first like, month of, of high school. And I, w I went missing for like a day. <laughs> really? I ran from the scene and she couldn't find me for a day. I stayed at a friend's house. She showed up at the train station that I went to school in, wh which all the other kids went to school into. It was, we, school starts in September, so it was Halloween. So we were in school a month. She showed up. <laughs> she showed up with my sister. She thought it would be funny. She showed up dressed as Homie the Clown. At, she showed up where? At the at train, the train station. station. 
Homie the Clown. Dressed as Homie the Clown from In Living Color. Please. Homie, don't play Wait. that. Please. I, I have pictures. I Wait. Tell me she's in blackface. No, no. Ooh. Homie wasn't in blackface. Homie the Clown? He's in clown makeup. Well, he's black. But we loved it. You put the blackface on and then the clown makeup over the blackface. I, lo- I, lo- I love the show. That's the way yeah. you have to do it. Me I love the show, so she thought it would be fun. And then I like she was like, hey, Sal. And I'm looking at a clown. I didn't realize it was my mother. Oh, my and God. And then I saw my sister with a clown. <laughs> it was like very quick. And then everybody was standing there waiting for the... We just got off the train. I just was like... And I, I literally look at something out of a movie. I dropped my school bag. I turned and I ran. And then they didn't see me for a day. I, to this day, I was like, mm. what were you thinking? And that, that mortified you. Mortified. Yeah, one time I walked, I walked up to my mother doing heroin in her car. S- same thing. Really? Kind of same. Is so that now, true? They both embarrassed us in our own way. Yeah. This That's is my truth, Louis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and still, no neck wow. tattoos. My mom sold Avon. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the bucket we go. Um, so, fuck yeah. What else? Should we just get into it? Should we bring up uh, tonight's guests? Yeah. All right, awesome. Two of our favorite guests. They've both been on the show. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. What are you doing? Whoa, what the fuck is that? You got to get him out of here. What's going on? No, you got to leave, dude. No, you can't do that. You have, to, you have to get him out of here. That's the former Iron Patriot, Jeff Crabtree, and he just stormed the stage. You have to get him all the way out of here. That is so crazy, Iron Patriot. I'm so disappointed in you. Wow. That was un- I thought that was it. I thought that was truly it. I saw him coming up. I pictured this numerous times. He uh, was uh, the entire, uh, he was part of the, he was the band for the first, like, uh, what, 50-some, 60, 70-some <laughs> episodes of the show. He was the Iron Patriot. He wore a suit. Slowly over time, we found out that he was <laughs> insane. <laughs> he, he's been messaging us for a, a little over a year or two continuously to no response. And he just jumped up on the stage. And you saw that live. That was a live part of the show. If you're wondering why we call ourselves the number one live comedy podcast in the world, that's why. Not number one pre-taped comedy podcast. That was creepy. I, I thought it was a biker. I'm I thought genuinely he lost, shaken I thought he up. lost his bicycle and he was like coming up to his I ass saw that something. fucking face. I checked both hands to make sure there were no weapons. But if there was a weapon, I was going to do this crazy front kick. I was half a second away from blasting this way. <laughs> exactly. That's what it would have sounded like. That was a very scary moment. I can't believe he thinks that that's okay. Yeah, well, I don't think he... I think that's <laughs> the whole thing. He doesn't really think much. We have to get, like, a restraining order or something. Yeah. This just got weird. Yeah. Shit just got very real. Yeah. And he, like, looked at the camera and shit. Like, Gross. we're going to edit that yeah, out. Yeah, we'll definitely edit that out. Wow, that's crazy. So only you guys will ever know that that ever happened just now. <laughs> Shout out. Make some noise for the Comedy Store staff getting him out of here quickly. <laughs> Wowzers. I, w- I was too stoned, I didn't even flinch. <laughs> I just saw colors coming at me. That's an interesting thing. We have a real mental health issue in this country <laughs> that needs to be dealt with. Like, people like that. Like, that guy wears an Iron Man costume for, you know, he does that thing at Hollywood and Highland. He's one of those guys, but he's the Iron Patriot. It's not even Iron Man. First of all, there's two or three Iron Men. This is what you have to know, and they're getting a lot of attention, right? He's the Iron Patriot. He's this version of the, uh, where are those people going? What were those, the Iron Patriot fans in the room? Well, the Patriot's not going to be here. This isn't the show that we want to see. Anyway. He stands out in front, like Hollywood then, Boulevard, like in front of the theaters. And then his whole thing is, he thought that he was the part of the show that worked, and once we got rid of him, we became the number one live podcast yeah, in the world. Yeah, he was holding us down. <coughs> we got better ratings when we just bought shit off Amazon Prime and had other people do the Iron Patriot. His, hey. his shit cost $8,000. You guys ready to meet tonight's guests or what? <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Two of our favorite guests, as I was saying before, uh, two of my favorite comedians in the world, two guys that I love to work with, and we're doing a bunch of shows coming up before. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, what are you doing? 